Hello there, in this video we are going to talk about how to remove identity server from ABP. When you create a new ABP application, the identity server comes along with the application asset default authentication mechanism. Um, we will see how to remove the entire identity server and use a normal identity as an authentication mechanism for ABP. Okay, so uh, first create a flow order and then create the ABP project. ABP new. Um, I will say anto dot change. This will create a new for new project and launch the new project. And once it is done, open it in Visual Studio Code and search for identity server. Um, there will be so many references. Go to advanced and then look for star.cs proj. So we will look for all the references and then remove all the references for identity server and now come here remove that remove that okay now we have removed all the references now look for all the c sharp files and we have to remove all the identity server references here as well in c sharp and so this is the domain module again permission module there is identity server 4 this is the entire um, file we don't need this the, uh, anymore we delete that go back to the search Identity, identity, perfect. Just keep removing all the references for identity server. Here, instead of using use identity server use say use authentication and keep going just come on out or take this entire thing off now we don't have anything Old identity server. Well, we have a lot of red squigglies here. We save this file. We save this file. Now, let's build this project. And see what happens. When you build it, it will start to restore it. Okay, DB migrator is complaining. Yeah, okay, so the DB migrator is missing host builder. Okay, you just add a package reference to the host builder. The host builder is available in Microsoft extension and hosting. Now, Auth change dot web module. 
Okay, something. Ah, he just had a reference. Okay. Now, are we building? Perfect. We are building. Now we have to add the package called volo.account because we removed um, the identity server. Volo. Okay. APK list modules. This is what we want. Follow dot account. Add add module, not modules. This will add um, the account module to your project. It will also add identity server, but we can go and remove that package. See, in this, once this is successfully installed, you have to come and do this same Identity server cleanup again. Do that for CES branch. It added identity server. Okay, so we now again cleaned up everything. Huh. Okay, so it says the package already exists perfect let's now we cleaned up everything it just complains the database already exists maybe i will give this two and give it as two because i already tried it and then now when i use the same name it just complains okay now come to the migrator Okay, dot net, run. This will trigger the migration. Your database seeding is complete. Now go to dot net app. Mm, and now net run. takes a while to launch perfect now we have our application running you can click login and then perfect we have tenant management let's try to create a tenant Create test one, test one at test.com, give some random password. Okay, I created the tenant. Um, tenant is working. And then roles, roles are there. You can see all the permissions. And then let's see if we can create a user. Test one. Test two.
Okay, the user is also created. Perfect, let's try to log in as a, another tenant. Perfect. So almost everything works as expected. Okay, so um, yeah, this is a simple example of how to run ABP without identity server. See you in another video. Bye bye.